Hello everyone, my name is Tana from happypoints.io Today I will show you how to add the top product into your product page without installing any application from the App Store with just a few steps By doing this, you can save an amount of money every month You can have a product page look exactly like this Three tabs in the product page Information tab with the product description Shipping tab with the shipping information and policy tab with the policy information. Well, this task this task is pretty easy, so I don't think you have to waste your money on it. So let's start now. We won't work on this store. This is just a demo. I just want to show you only today. We will work on this store. Jewelry. It is a development store that I, that I just created for this tutorial here, this is the product page now product tab add, as you can see, just the product description now from your Shopify admin click on teams you can choose the teams you wish to make change but this store is using supply team so I will work on this click on actions edit code please note that we are working on the supply team so if you cannot find what you want just leave a comment in the comment section we will get to you to support not all the teams are the same that's why I'm asking you to comment if you have any question or need any help so scroll down to the sections here and file for the product template here to save your time you can just type in product in the search box and it appear here well wow. okay now you will want to find for these characters Command F, Command V. Here it's up here. Here you will want to replace this with this code. Don't worry, I just put the code in the description of this comment, so you can find the code there. Do it yourself. Click save. Okay. Next, search for teams.js. Here. Go to the end of the file. Then paste this code again. I put the code in the video description so you can go there and take it. Click save. Okay, now go to the page to create more page. Okay, I want to tell you something first. In this tab, each tab will take the content of a separated page. The information will have the product description. The shipping tab will take the content from a page called shipping. And the same as the policy, it will take the content from a page called policy. That's why we need to add two more pages to the store. Now go to your Shopify admin page and add page. Actually, I added these two pages before. So I will go to the one page to check. I will go to the shipping page. Okay, here is the title, the content. Okay, I will want to check the handle. Yeah, handle here is the shipping. 
Remember that the handle should be the same value with the variable of the code. What I mean here is, in this code, okay, yeah. If I want to the tab name shipping, it should be shipping here. Okay, which means I should go back to the code to edit. Okay, if you want your tab name is material. In this code, in this, in this here, it should be material, not shipping. But now I'm. I want to have a tab name shipping, so I just keep it here. Go to this one. Raw template. Oh, material. I will change this to shipping. Click save. Okay. Then I want want to go to my store to see what happened to see the result. Okay, it is here. Three tabs in the product page: information tab, shipping with the shipping page, policy with the content of the policy page. Pretty easy, right? No need to install any application for this trick. I'm sure you can do this yourself. If you still need help or have any question, just let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel happypoints.io for more useful and practical tutorials with the Shopify store. Enjoy and see you in the next video. Bye!